name is Christina Frolov. I'm the general manager of Castel Mimi, the only wine castle in Moldova. Castel Mimi was originally built in 1893 by the last governor of Bessarabia, Konstantin Mimi. He has um, planted the most modern and up-to-date vineyards in Moldova and he was the first uh, businessman from Moldova to export wines in industrial quantities. We have been making wines in Moldova for more than 5,000 years. I think that it was natural for Konstantin Mimi to choose Moldova as a wine producer because we have more than 260 days of sunshine all the year and Moldova is very different from region to region even if it's a very small country. It has two main rivers that influence a lot terroir and the um, effects they have on the on the vineyard. Our vineyards are very closely located to the main river of the country, Nistru, and that's why we can produce on one hill very good Merlots and we can have a Pinot Gris on the second hill that is that is perfect. We have a lot of sunshine in Moldova. Uh, the level of sugar in our wines are uh, are usually higher than 13% of alcohol, even in uh, in whites and in the roses. In the wine region we are located, the Codru wine region, we love mostly Merlots because they're very floral, very flowery and extremely fruity both in taste and in, um, in the bouquet. The winery actually has evolved into a wine resort lately. Except making um, very good wines, we like to pair them with very good food and um, we like to fusion our traditional Moldavian uh, kitchen with some um, um, some notes of French or even uh, even Italian um, uh, uh, kitchen because um, well, Constantine Mimi was a very very um, interesting person that has traveled a lot so he has brought many new things from Europe so we want to implement them there. In our region the wines are extremely fruity they have a very good aromas of berries and fruits Usually you find a lot of dry fruit. In Moldova we say Norok, can't wait to see you in our country.